Let's take a look at the numbers and place value questions. All of these are non-calculator questions. So question number one, we need to write this number in words. Now, we group numbers in blocks of three going from right to left. And after every three, we can put in a comma or a gap. And that first comma here represents the word thousand. The next comma represents million. So this number in words is two million three hundred eighty nine thousand four hundred and one. So we need to write 627,013 as a number. So remember this word thousand is going to be represented by a comma. So on the left hand side, I'm just going to write 627. And after this, after the comma, I'm going to write the number 13, but I need to write that as 013. So there it is as a number 627013 with or without the comma is fine. I just find the commas are quite handy because they help you remember that you need to say the word thousand, million, billion, trillion, etc. Question number three, what is the value of the seven in this number? Well, the six is in the units column, so that's in the ones column. The two is in the tens column. This two here is in the one hundreds column. So this seven is in the one thousands column. So the value of seven in this number here is seven times a thousand, which is seven thousand. Moving on to question four. So we've got a set of numbers. Which of these is the smallest? So the problem here is we've got some negative numbers. So what is smaller, minus five or minus three? Hopefully we're aware that the negative numbers will be smaller than the positive numbers. Now, if you're struggling with this, do a number line zero, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. So obviously the numbers are getting smaller as we're going to the left. So as minus five is more to the left than minus three, minus five is therefore the smallest number. Which of them is furthest from zero? So again, if you like, let's just do a number line. So we can include all of the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So which is the furthest from zero? Well, between minus five and zero, that is a jump of five. Whereas from zero to seven, that is a jump of seven. So seven is furthest from zero. So using a number line, what is the difference between negative seven and four? So let's do our number line. So minus seven, minus six, minus five, minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, and then one, two, three, four. So what is the difference between these two numbers here? So it's a difference of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a difference of 11. Question number six, we've got some temperatures. Which is the coldest? Uh, none of them are negative, so that makes life nice and easy. So which is the lowest number? That's gonna to be Toronto, because that's the only one which is a single digit number. So that is gonna to be Toronto. The hottest temperature is just the largest number, which is 23, so Buenos Aires. And the difference between the hottest and coldest is the difference between 23 and five. 23 take away five, that's a difference of 18 degrees. Question number seven, what is the width of this square? Well, we can see we've got a ruler on it from zero to three. So that is a width of three centimeters. And question number eight, what is the temperature in the room? Well, the thermometer is going all the way up to 20. So that's a temperature of 20. And is it Celsius or Fahrenheit? In fact, we're told in the question, this is degrees Celsius.